Hi, this is Carrie from Scrap Your Chicks, and this is I want to go over our technique that we're going to be using for um, Thursday, November the 11th. Happy Veterans Day to everyone. Um, this is just a really beautiful page. You know, typical pages for me. I use like I like to use lots of pattern. I always like to put in some ribbon or trim or some buttons to give it a lot of texture. Um, the idea with this page is to record your everyday blessings. Now, one of the things that I really love is these little tiny type alphabets. If you have these and you're doing this page, um, you're you know you're shopping from your stash and you've got a bunch of stuff, you could just put those down for this little section right here where it says the everyday. Um, but I know not everybody has these, and so you can actually print these yourself with your um, just a regular printer in your computer. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to explain it, and then it will be in your directions as well. Um, included with the kit, if you're buying the kit of this, is you get the little poem and you get the pre-printed piece. If you um, with your directions, I also included a file to print this yourself on your own colored cardstock, whatever you would like it to be. But I'm just going to give you a little explanation of how to do what I would consider white ink. There's no such thing as white ink on a printer. So what you want to do is you want to create a text block. Um, you can use a publisher or in Word or what have you. You want to create a text box and then you want to type in your text. Type it in black to start with so you can see it, get your spacing right. Um, you want to figure out like what kind of letters that you want. You want it to be a fairly bold letter, and I recommend actually bolding the type so that it really stands up. And then once you get that all set, go ahead and select it. Change the color of the type to white. So now when you're looking at it on your screen, it looks like there's nothing there, but that's okay. Then go ahead and click on the text block, and what will happen is um, then you can pick a fill color and fill in with the color you wanted. In this case, I picked a dark brown. So that way when I go to print, what I'm seeing is it prints everything except for the white. So actually my letters end up being the color of my background. So that way when I go ahead and I cut this out, I have this little strip right here that I can put onto my layout and it looks like um, it was either printed right on my background or that I used some little stickers like this. Now if you have a laser printer you can get a really cool shiny finish. If you're using an inkjet like I did it's more it's a matte finish and it also depends on the kind of paper that you have. So anyway that's our tip for the week and how you can do that um, basically um, printing in the negative so to speak and you can print in with white ink. So I hope you enjoy the layout this week and I hope you fill it with lots of pictures of your everyday blessings. Thanks!